upcoming. It's gonna change a lot of um, stuff in the song. So you just wanna keep all of those just on this straight line and only bring up this one. What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome to a new Adobe Audition CS6 tutorial, it is Friday, so it's a new video, and today I'm going to show you guys how to bass boost songs, um, to just add a lot of bass to it, I would say, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is when you click, uh, you want to make a new multi-track session, we're going to call this bass boost, yep, I'm going to click on OK, and then we have those multi-tracks as you can see, and right now I'm just going to edit, like, add in a NCS, no copyright sounds uh, song to show you guys, I'm just going to pick uh, this one, let's drag it onto this uh, audio track and I'm going to show you guys how to bass boost it so let's hear what it sounds like first All right, that sounds pretty good. I'm just gonna skip real quick to the drop. Let's see where it is. Okay. So we're gonna use this part, this one. So this is the drop. So we're gonna uh, bass boost um, this part of the song, actually the entire track, but I'm going to focus on this part. So the first thing you want to do is want to go to a mixer. You want to click on this little icon to enable the uh, equalizer. You want to click on this little tool and then you want to go back to the editor and then you can set the bass. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So the first thing you want to do is at least uh, bring this up like this. Let's see how it sounds right now. So this is without. And this is with. That's a lot of difference. So I think you should not mess, be messing around with, you know, those markers because this is not like about the bass. You don't want to drag this like all the way up because that's just going to make a clip. So turn down your headset right now. I'm just going to show you guys what happens if you add too much bass. That's just a terrible sound. So you don't want to like bring this up all the way. Just, I would say this is like zero. Let's bring it up halfway. Let's see how it sounds. Sounds pretty good. I would not recommend um, like mess around with those markers because let's say if you want to put it like this, it's going to change a lot of um, stuff in the song. So you just want to keep all of those just on this straight line and only bring up this one. I'm going to mess around with those markers. So enjoy. So that sounds pretty good. So basically, that's how simple it is. You can just, you know, close it out when you're when you're done, and you can just, um, just I would say, select the entire song, and you want to go to File, Export, and you want to pick. Um, time selection that means that you're gonna export everything that you've selected or entire session that's gonna export everything the entire track so if you want to see more of those Adobe Edition CS6 tutorials every Monday and Friday at 12 p.m. PST make sure to smash that like button down below and thank you guys for watching and if you want to see more of content just subscribe down below it's free I'll see you guys on Monday for a new Audition CS6 tutorial and a illustrated tutorial tomorrow I'll see you guys tomorrow it's me again. Um, I know I, I haven't uploaded a video uh, for a while on this channel. You know, all that kind of movies was a great actor uh, the past several months. Um, basically, uh, some of you may know uh, that I'm a partner with Media Crowd. Let me explain. It's from the comment section down below. So I'm just gonna uh, put this completely random. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next week.